So here we're, we're uh, using a Sun 300 G watt uh, grid tie inverter along with two Harbor Freight systems which is 90 watts. We have a kilowatt meter here set up and we're getting just under 70 watts at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon in New England. Um, there is one panel that has not hit the light yet so hopefully we'll get a little spike after that. So like I said this is a uh, dual harbor freight system 90 watts on the roof of the garage and we're getting about 69 close to 69 watts right now here you can see we have two harbor freight panels system set up each panel is 15 watts so that's 90 watts total up on the roof of the garage about 2.30 in the afternoon. Like I said, we're pulling in just about 70 watts, which is probably about what we'll get from this system. So here we are back inside. We have uh, about 68 and change of wattage running through the tie. Not, uh, not as much as we'd like. Uh, we are going to be adding a 100 watt solar panel which is, will bring us up to 190 so with a 300 watt in, inverter that would be much more efficient uh, for the inverter itself and uh, for the total system but Harbor Freight's a good way to get started and to learn how to use the systems um, but they don't put out that much so if you're going to spend a lot on a solar panel system I check out eBay for some of the more potent panels like the 130 watt per panel or 100 watts uh, get a pair of those for the same price. I mean, Harbor Freight, you can get the setup for about 149 uh, for one, um, and each panel is 15 watts. And it's a good way to charge off batteries and whatnot, but they're not super powerful. But you can use them in conjunction with the crystalline uh, style ones, uh, which is what we're going to do next, and uh, see what happens. There you go.